I just charted it. <sighs> Smash engineering. You need to know that I'm right. Welcome back to another episode of Smash Engineering. Today we're working on an electric lawnmower. Uh, the batteries have seemingly quit holding a charge and uh, you can't get um, this battery pack anymore. So we're gonna dissect this battery pack and uh, see if we can change the batteries on the inside. All right, so we took the battery off the lawnmower. There is, this case has, And pay attention, just make sure they're all the same size. If they're all the same size, diameter and length, then you can put them back in whatever order you want. And make sure you got them all out before you try to force it apart. Too many times in my life have I uh, thought I had them all out, go to pull it apart and realize that I didn't. I believe this has just five from what I can see. And don't let the case intimidate you. A lot of people throw away stuff like this and it goes and sits in a landfill somewhere and one thing I can do to contribute to less landfill garbage, I'll do it. Pop it off pretty easy. Right, let's see what we're working with here. Okay, so we got three, looks like three 12 volt batteries. that all twisted around itself. Let me grab the camera here. Show you what I'm working with. So you just got three lead acid 12 bolt. Looks like they're sealed obviously. And then you just pay attention to your wiring. Um, with all three of these combined you do end up with 12 times three is 36. So real easy. You pop that apart. This is your charging port here. This is the part that hooks into the mower. We're not going to mess with any of that. All we're going to do is disconnect these, keep them how they are, and uh, order some new batteries. Yeah, these are bulging out. So these likely froze or something. They likely lost their charge and froze. See, this one's not bulging. That one's bulging, and this one's bulging. So likely this battery might actually still be good, um, and these two probably are bad. So what I'll do is probably charge this one on like a car charger on a low trickle charge and see if that's still good. If it's still good, I'll keep it around for something else, but uh, let's go ahead and unplug these. And they did glue them. You want to be careful when you're prying against this. You don't want to pry a hole in it and expose your uh, the acid in there. But, uh, looks like on this side, just in case, even for my own reference, um, we got the gray or white one going to red, the green one going to black on the on the inside pack here. So let's go ahead and pop those out. Yeah. 
I'm just going to keep these together so that I know how to hook my new ones up. Luckily, ahead of time, I um, wasn't positive, but I was pretty sure that it was uh, some 12 volt batteries in there. So I went ahead and ordered these. And guys, uh, I know I say this a lot, but um, always wear safety glasses. These are actually safety glass rated. They're also sunglasses. Ooh, fancy. A one. Oh, they put a glass mat in there too to be extra safe. I like it. I like it. Two. And tres. That's it. Did I order the right ones? This is the next question. Wow. I think I did. The big problem you could run into here is whether or not... Oh, they come with a three-year warrant? Or a three-month warranty. Oh, okay. I read that wrong for a minute. I was like, well, three years. The biggest problem you could run into here is if your negative and positives were reverse polar like if your positive was here and your negative was there but it looks like we're gonna be golden actually these look just about identical just about identical so let's give that a shot let's see how they fit oh, oh, oh. like a glove maybe a little maybe a little tight on the front thing here but uh do a test fit. I'll wire it. If they fit tight enough, I'm not gonna go get tape and tape them together. Uh, if they don't fit tight enough, I may get some tape or some uh, something to just keep them from wobbling around and rattling. Looks like a little bit tight of a fit. This one's already been opened. No, this one's already scratched up and been opened. Huh. Got some kind of liquid on it too. I, that's battery acid? Oh, maybe not. It's like a glue. Looked like a wet liquid. That's not. Huh. Yeah. That one must have been a return that they sent back out. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I thought there might be a little bit of fitment issue, um, just because, you know, nothing can ever go super, super smooth. But you can always trim a little bit of plastic here or there. And see what we can do to make it fit better. So let's see what we're hanging up on here. There's little pieces of extra plastic down here to make it tight that we can shave off need be let's see what are these a little bit taller than those i thought it was about identical here let's see yeah, they're pretty pretty close to identical let's see what we got here oh this one's not junk in there little tab of plastic in here I'm gonna shave off and then I'll refit these and we'll see how it works but for the most part it's fitting pretty good I probably could force it together like it is but I'm a perfectionist I like things to fit and I know I'm a perfectionist why didn't I get the exact batteries well this is the closest battery they have to what's in here so let's see if we can make it just work. got to our good old Harbor Freight and uh, let's go inside and see if they got what we need oh, I can't forget to put my mask on so, all right, so 
the uh, <coughs> batteries aren't fitting exactly like I would want to. I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but there are little, yeah, you can kind of see right there. There's these little pieces that stick out, and that's literally the amount that they are too big. So I ran up to Harbor Freight. <clears throat> I grabbed a, it's a um, plastic welder. I'm hoping that it has enough power to melt this um, how I need it. Let's get these old batteries out of the way here. We'll let that heat up. I um I tried using a candle and a screwdriver and I was just kind of going to melt the pear area out of the way. This is a plastic that is not very melt friendly, so the ghetto way would not work, unfortunately. Ooh. Sun went away and it got cold. Let's put a jacket down here. Basically, we'll just melt these tabs off as soon as that gets hot. Don't fall off the table. Hopefully, that'll give us the clearance we need for the battery. Just a smidge more. It does seem like it's gonna work though. So that'll be cool. Alright, so I went ahead, there's these little tabs, I don't know how well it's gonna focus, but I went ahead and melted and cut these little tabs off to make more a little more clearance for the batteries. I've test fitted them, they fit perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reinstallation. I also had to there's a few down in here that I what oh, I think I missed. Oh no, I was going to leave those, okay. Yeah, so I had to melt a few in here too. And it seems like it's going to work out pretty well. Yeah, I will say that the Harbor Freight plastic welder, the end, the tip gets really flimsy. I've only been using it for, job, obviously, just this job. But the tip gets super hot, and then the, the metal, as soon as you touch it to something, it like bends the tip. So you're constantly bending it back and forth. Kind of a nightmare. Safety caps on. All right, they're all in there and they fit snug, so I'm not going to put any tape between them. All right, so now what we'll do is transplant the wiring one at a time. here I almost wonder okay, yeah I'm gonna run that down to the side there Where 
this piece here. You know, I'm going to pause the video and just make sure that I'm hooking that up right because I did have it recorded. Just give me a second. Okay. White goes to red. It's always good to double check things like this. If you don't know, don't guess. End up in a world of hurt there. So then, we should be able to... I don't know if it's picking that up or not, but we got full charge now. Now it's just a matter of getting this all back together without pinching any of these wires. Which doesn't seem like it would be too bad. I'm going to move it over here to the bench. I'm going to press it on. see we're back together I hope that's picking that up can you see the anyway all three are lighting up now but it is the one so now what we'll do is make sure we got it secured all the way around make sure we don't have any wires pinched said in previous videos go backwards so you feel it pop that way you're not creating new threads and breaking it take this off just make sure I got the wires pressed up in there I don't want to pinch any wires if I can help it there are wires that go across the top where this little tester is at just want to verify that they're all pressed where they're supposed to be okay yeah they are so these wires I don't know if the video can show that but these wires go through little cutouts I just wanted to verify that they were all where they're supposed to be in the cutouts I get to do that all over again. It's actually really not that bad. Other than 
fitting the batteries in though. This wasn't too bad. The average person could probably do it with uh, the right tool. I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe like an air grinder might have worked a little more efficiently there. But. But this will get the job done. We successfully took out three bad, possibly three bad batteries. I think that one might still be good, but it really doesn't matter because if it can't be used in this, it really won't be used in anything. But let's go plug it into the lawnmower and see if what it does here. Should work just fine. That's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I uh, just got in from cutting the uh, grass, finished trimming it out. Uh, those batteries, I didn't even charge those batteries. I took them straight from the uh, package, put them in there, and uh, sealed it shut. Uh, threw it in the thing and started it up and used it. And um, I was able to do my whole yard and didn't have to charge it yet. So if uh, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry there's been a lack of content lately. But I'm going to be trying to get back on the bandwagon. And uh, anytime I can help someone out, I try to. So... Um, make sure that we're thinking about others, being conscious. Um, everyone's going through this together. It's not fun. It's, it's, I don't know, it's crazy. Gas prices, food prices, everything's going up. Um, but we have to uh, make the best of the things we can control. And that is uh, one of the big, biggest things is how we treat people. So let's all love each other a little more and hate a little less. Thanks for watching.